must name every single NFL team my players have played for. Otherwise, I have to sub them out for a bronze player. And I gotta remember to stop saying bronze player because there's no more bronzes anymore. But you get the idea. Now, my amazing editor, Ty, has built me this squad in 84 overall with 84 O and 84 D. I have yet to see the team. And for each position, we'll go through if I can name all the teams they played for in their career. I can hang on to. I'm gonna start out with all skill positions and then I'm gonna go O line, D line because I think I'm gonna struggle the most with those. Let's start out with tight end. He gave me one of my OG favorites, Darren Waller. Funny enough, the Ravens have always drafted amazing tight ends because the Ravens drafted Darren Waller. Pretty sure he's only played for the Ravens and the Ravens. Yep, the Ravens for the first two years and the Ravens ever since. We get to hang on. That's Sammy Watkins, bro. Sammy Watkins has got tossed around more than my girlfriend, bro. Sammy Watkins. Okay, he was first on the Bills. I know he played with the Ravens. Obviously, the Packers, that's where he's at now. The Chiefs. I think he might have played for the Rams. I'm going to say Rams. Sammy Watkins teams, Bills, Rams, Chiefs, Ravens, Packers. Let's go. I cannot believe I hung on to him. I don't think I'm going to get that lucky again. The Rams one was kind of a guess. Zonklers play for a team other than the Dolphins? Zonka played for the Giants. He played for the Giants for three years. Oh my God, I'm impressed. Gotta go get Xander Horvath. Carson Wentz. What a perfect option at quarterback, Carson Wentz. Uh, Eagles, Colts, Commies. Carson Wentz, welcome to the squad. Cordero Patterson. Oh my God, he's played for so many teams. Um, he started with the Vikings. He was on the Bears. He was on the Patriots. And now the Falcons. Yeah! Oh, I'm gonna have a silver halfback. In 2017, Cordero Patterson played for the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, looks like our backfield will be Carson Wentz and two bums. So, three bums. Oh! That's my <laughs> Also, college football fans, I'm going to want you to listen up. If you want to add a little more thrill to this college football season, I have a killer deal for you. That's why I'm partnering with DraftKings, America's top-rated sportsbook app. If you bet just $5 on any college football wager, you will instantly receive $200 in free bets. That's right. All new customers will get $200 in free bets when they place any pregame $5 or more wager on the college football team of their choosing. Plus, with same game parlays, that $5 has a shot at turning into a whole lot more. So, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use my promo code MMG and get $200 in free bets when placing any $5 wager on college football. That's promo code MMG only at DraftKings Sportsbook. DraftKings has so many ways to make watching sports more fun. You're gonna wanna hop in on the action. Check it out now and enjoy the rest of the video. Hollywood Brown, that's an easy one. That's Ravens and Cardinals. And Stefan Diggs, drafted by the Vikings, now plays for the Bills. All right, hey, so we locked in every single wide receiver. In fact, anyone we can really throw to, we locked in. We got tight end Darren Waller as well. Sammy Dobb, Marquise Brown, Stefan Diggs. Beautiful. Offensive line is where literally power of guessing is going to come in handy. Anthony Munoz, I always think of him as a Bengals legend, so I'm assuming he's just always been a Bengal. In 1993, he was a practice squad member for the Buccaneers. I'm not counting. Lakin Tomlinson, I'm not gonna lie, I just got clutched up so hard by this card because he's a left guard and he's in a Niners uni, but he has Jets chemistry baked into the card. Means he definitely plays for the Jets right now, which I didn't know. I'm gonna say Niners Jets. If there's another team in there, I just got oh, he played for the Lions. Oh my god, I'm such a casual. We're going with 6'5 Logan Bruss. Jay Hilgenberg, I'll tell you straight up. I don't know a single thing about this. I'm gonna say he's only ever played for the Bears. I'm gonna click on chemistries. So this guy played for the Bears for 10 years, and then he had a one year with the Browns, one year with the Saints. Ty, you're throwing heaters at me. What a fucking bitch, am I right? Doug Kramer, number 68, 68 overall. Chris Lindstrom. Pretty sure he's young, and I think he's only played for the Falcons. Chris Lindstrom, 2019 to present, Atlanta Falcons. All right, so we got a right guard and a left tackle, and that leaves David Kessenberry, Questionberry. What's on his card? Is that the Bills on his card? There's Bills on his card, and he's in a Titans uni. Titans and Bills. David Questionberry. Of course! Of course he played for the Texans. Texans. Titans Bills. Well, needless to say, I don't think the run game is going to be too dominant with Keontae Ingram virtually no offensive line. Six foot seven, Andrew Stuber. All right, my offense has been depleted, and that leads me to defense. Oh, I see a lot of legends. I see three legends Ronnie Lott, Bruce Smith, Esther Hayes. Let's start with them. Okay, Ronnie Lott. I actually know this one. I know he played for the Niners. He's the Niners legend, but he also ended his career with the Jets. That's an 89 overall. That's an insane Ronnie Lott. That's like the best free safety in the game. San Fran 49ers, Los Angeles 
Raiders. Oh my God. He played a year for the Los Angeles Raiders. And then he finished his career with the Jets. Oh, that's so tough though. He's so good. Dude, and free safety is such an important position. I'm gonna have to put an absolute bum up here. Tariq Carpenter. So bummy, he literally doesn't have a picture. Divine Diablo, I assume he's only ever played for the Raiders. Drafted by the Raiders last year since so his second year. Divine Diablo staying on the squad. Mario Davis, okay. He's been tossed around a little bit, but I think it was just Jets to Saints. The Mario Davis teams, Jets, Browns, Jets, Saints. Play with the Browns? When were you on the Browns? Looks like our user middle linebacker is gonna be a bum as well. Wow, I'm feeling extra MM casual right now. I'm going Chance Campbell. Devin White, super young, drafted by the Buccaneers. Only Buccaneers. Thank you, Ty, for an easy one, right? Devin White? Okay, I'm probably going to move him to MLB 1. Hassan Reddick, Cardinals, for the first couple years. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I thought Hassan Reddick was still on the Panthers. He's clearly in an Eagles uni here. So it's got to be Cardinals, Panthers, Eagles. Cardinals, Panthers, Eagles. Let's go. Adrian Amos is an NFC North slut. He went from the Bears to the Packers. Lester Hayes, bro? Lester Hayes. This guy probably went to Plumbers and Mailman University, bro. He probably played for the New York Plumbers and then the Los Angeles Mailman. Look at his face mask. That's how you know he's playing against Plumbers and Mailman, bro. I'm gonna say Raiders because he's in a Raiders uni here, but there's no way he only played for the Oh my God. He played through the Raiders, even when they switched cities. Oakland and Los Angeles Raiders. Demarcus Lawrence has always been a cowboy. Marcus Lawrence, drafted by Dallas in 2014, has only ever played for Dallas. Thank you for your loyalty. Milton Williams? I'm gonna say Milton Williams. Eagles only. I don't know much about Milton Williams, though. Eagles only. Ooh, you know what? I actually got clutched up here on the D-line. Both these guys are super young. Derek Brown is super young. Derek Brown was drafted by the Panthers, only played for the Panthers. Derek Brown, Carolina Panthers. Let's go. Wait, I could lock up the whole D-line if I get Bruce Smith. Bruce Smith hit 200 sacks to Washington racist Redskins. And and obviously, it's Buffalo Bills. So it's Buffalo Bills, Washington Redskins. Buffalo Bills, Washington Redskins. I've got virtually no O-line, but I got a full D-line. Caleb Farley. I don't know a thing about this guy. I'm going to say Titans because he's in Titans Jr. here. And Amani Oruarie, drafted by the Detroit Lions. Wow, let's go. Linebackers were good. We'll survive. Free safety, that's horrible. We'll survive. Defense is great. Offense. No halfback, no fullback. Hardly an offensive line. Lots of wide receivers. So we're going to have to pass the ball. And defense is going to have to clutch up. But overall, I'm actually really proud of this squad. All right, so that's a 78 overall offense and 82 overall defense. We went down four overalls. Okay. All right, boys. Let's go get it up. Carson Wentz. Divine the up. Jamar Chase. Gabe Davis. Xavier Howard. Chance Campbell, bro. What if Chance Campbell? Hey, big hit, Adrian Amos. Dude, I gotta get a lurk. Chance Campbell. Damn, this guy is hitting the runs, but Chance with a good tackle. Good hit. Dude, that McCaffrey's gonna fumble. He keeps doing it. Go! Caleb Farley! Carpenter! I respect his dedication. He will not give up on me. You guys smell one more? I smell one more. Hey, we're there this time, boys. Fourth and one. Does he do it one final time? Look at Daniel Jones back there, slinging. He throws, hits his halfback. Nice play. Hey, big hit by Imani Arawarie. What did I just do? Fine! Oh, it's Carpenter! It's Carpenter! Keep going, buddy! Our cut, buddy! Let's go! Let's go! They're just pick six, you bitch ass. Bro, go back to halfback stretch. Ooh. No way Lester Hayes almost took it. Dude, Tariq Carpenter's that guy, bro. Why is he so good? Okay, Chance. Oh, oh I was ankle biting with Chance Campbell. I didn't do it again. The stretch is back, baby. It's in season once more. Does he flip sides? He might have just flipped sides. He did. I knew it. I called it. Oh, my God. He's doesn't matter. Okay. Get there. Good work, boys. Clamp the stretch, boys. He goes right up the middle. Oh, it's play action. That torched me. That torched me. Bro, this guy's so elite. I I'm not even gonna lie. After running so much halfback stretch, he completely got me, dude. Sammy Dubs got my kick return. You want to give me a big one here? Woo! You know, I met Sammy Watkins' younger cousin at a 7-on-7 uh, seven -seven football tourney. That guy is a fucking animal. Yo, Winston, shout out, bro. Keep it up, my guy. I'm excited to see you. And in honor of that, I gotta get... Shit. Shit! Bro, that was like the worst time for me to throw an IOT. 
I tried to throw that half back and that ball came out real bizarre. All right, this is not good. Goes right side stretch. Carpenter! Oh, Tariq Carpenter. Guy's gonna have a fucking nasty stat line. Oh, he does. Okay, Tariq Carpenter! Play action. Oh, shit. No, no, we need this tackle. He's not in! First and goal. Oh. It's gonna be a tough game. We're definitely gonna have to come out here with a lot of offensive firepower. Tie this game up and see if we can find a way to stop stretch. I feel like this is man coverage. That is most definitely man coverage. And that is a wide, oh, not wide open Darren Waller, but he still made the catch. Let's go. Let's see what he takes. Does he take underneath again? He takes underneath again. That leaves Darren Waller again. Get through him. Let's go. Let's go! Five wide's killing him! Dude, I have no shame. I'll run five wide against this guy. He's ran halfback stretch 18 times. Ooh. Screamer off the edge. Nice play. Right there. Oh, no, no way! And the fucking... The bounce pass. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this game. No! This one hurts so bad, bro. I'm losing to a halfback stretch guy. Bro, Keontae Ingram was so open. I got hit as I threw. Bobbled out of my hand. That sucks. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I guess I did get lucky on the first catch. Wow, this game went from good to really bad really fast. I need to read Carpenter back, bro. We pretty much verify that I can't stop this with my current lineup. Okay, I take it all back, fourth and inches. Wow, if Cheezer had a name, it would be Chowda, whatever that guy's gamer tag is. <laughs> Not gonna lie, we're kind of bottling the stretch now though all of a sudden. All right, fourth and four, boys. Oh, he's gonna hand it off. He might switch sides here on me. I'm gonna go get it. Oh, he doesn't. He's just gonna walk. All right, Keontae Ingram. Do you believe? Oh, he might. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna throw Ingram. Just kidding. He's fucking boxed. And Carson doesn't get the pass. Guys, thanks. Just. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Good hard cut. We can't win the game, but we could score a pride touchdown in 15 seconds. Let's just go up top. Watkins, get there. Uh, usually you want to go in front of the safety, not behind him. But I couldn't win this game anyway, so. <laughs> GG's. It was a pretty boring one, I'm not going to lie. Even if the game had gone better, it's going to be really boring. 25 for 112. Average 4.4, two touchdowns, three broken tackles. Keontae Ingram did average more than I really felt like it was an actual game up until here. Right here, it's 14 to 7. I'm down by a touchdown. I'm trying to throw this to Keontae Ingram, who's crossing. Oh, he's so open right here. He's so open. I'm trying to throw that, but the pressure gets to me, and Wentz does this. And my center had an absolute riot blocking. Well, you know what? He is a silver, but let's take a look at what Kramer did on this play. Hold on, buddy. All right, boys, hopefully I can get you a lot more fun of a game next time. That was a bummer. Um, Carson Wentz, Kant Ingram. Next time, gentlemen, next time. Hey, appreciate you guys watching as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.